Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Harpy Eagle. Now, this iconic predatory bird also goes by the scientific name Harpia harpesia, and it's known to roam southern North America, all of Central America, and all of South America. Now, let's start off by saying that this is one of the largest eagle species in the world, and it's widely recognized as being, hands down, the strongest eagle species. With this regal species weighing up to 20 pounds while being around 40 inches long, also having a six and a half foot wingspan, being an absolute terror to the various sloths, monkeys, lizards, rodents, small deer, and other birds of its habitat. Now, living deep within the rainforest of the Western Hemisphere, the Harpy Eagle is a striking figure. With its black and white colors, unique crown of feathers, and its long, elegant tail, this species is an unmistakable sight in the canopies. Matter of fact, it's so iconic that it's become an important cultural symbol of some Latin American countries, even being adopted as the national bird of Panama. Okay, now let's just go ahead and say it. The harpy eagle has the biggest talons of any eagle species, period. They can be up to five inches long, which by the way, is about the same size or longer than the average grizzly bear's claws. And when combined with their massive strength, this allows them to lift relatively large prey of up to 30 pounds off the ground for short distances. Now, its other and most distinctive feature, the feather of crowns, can manually be raised when threatened or when it needs to hear something more closely. You see, scientists have determined that these feathers actually help direct sound waves to the harpy's ear canal. But that's not the only sense that this bird is gifted with, because it also has extraordinary visual senses that it can use to locate very small prey from hundreds of feet away. Being able to see objects less than an inch in diameter from up to 220 yards. Oh, it does have a poor sense of smell. However, its preferred quarry is quite large, with them being top predators in their food chain, typically hunting sloths, opossums, and various monkeys, like I said earlier. And their relatively short, broad wings and long tail feathers help them navigate the dense rainforest with relative ease, ambushing their prey from above or below at around 50 miles per hour, delivering crushing blows with their massive talons and exerting enormous pressures of several hundred pounds that can crush the bones of its victims. And they're very patient hunters as well, and can remain perched at the same location for up to a full day while waiting for prey to appear. This species can afford to be like this because it can go for a week before it needs to feed again, and when it does make a kill, it can feast on the remains for a few days at a time. Harpy eagles are also a monogamous species that appear to form lifelong bonds with their chosen mates. And once every two or three years, during the rainy season of April or May, the female will typically lay two eggs at a time, but only raise a single chick due to the first or strongest hatchling usually killing their sibling. And from hatching to death, these eagles can live up to 35 years in the wild. To communicate with each other, these raptors use a limited range of different visual displays and vocalizations, including whistles, clicks, and croaks, with them tending to be a little more vocal around the nest and almost completely silent during hunts, making them very good stealth hunters. So the next time you're strolling through the rainforest of the Americas, it may be a good idea to keep an eye to the sky. Now, for its abilities and its influence on its habitat, for my one to three rating, I'll give the Harpy Eagle a rating of three, which is an apex rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to find the perfect predator.